Welcome back, everybody. I hope you guys had a great weekend. This is Urban Shop Talk with Barry and Terry, or Terry and Barry. Still, still undecided. No, wait. Look, we just gonna roll. I saw a guy down the street the other day. He said that he thought that it was Barry and Terry, and then five minutes later he said Terry and Barry. So I don't, I'm not really sure. But we are back today. Still confusing. Once again with another episode. And today we're gonna have some fun. Still confusing. We're gonna have some fun later on because we do got a, a topic about. The billion dollar club in movies, movies that cross a billion dollars, means a lot of people see them, you've probably seen them, uh, and we're going to go into Majority all of Majority of them, I didn't like, though. Well, well we're going to go into that later. Majority gonna, of them are gonna, not very, you know what I'm saying, we'll, there's we'll, just a lot we'll of CGI, find out what it is. not much story, but, but uh, that's we'll, fine. We'll, we'll get into that, and uh, and that's basically going to be brought uh, brought up because of the uh, Fate and the Furious, a movie that he enjoyed immensely. That is about to cross the billion dollar club, but doesn't mean it's good. Like you said, in your words uh, it was last good. week, it was good, and a billion billion dollars worth of people thought it was. Wait, wait, hold on. But um, before we go, this way, you said the movie was good. I thought it was good. I thought it was good, but we're gonna get All into right. that later. But uh, unfortunately, we do have to start with a, a, a bit of a a bit of a sour note, a little bit. But we do have to address it. We felt the need that we felt the need that we should address it because it's something that he's thought about. I've thought about. Um, and that is last oh, week. Before we do that, you always ask me something about the week. La, I mean, oh, we are. We're still, okay. We still are. Okay. But la, last week, uh, something bad happened, and we're gonna start, we're gonna get into that a little bit. Um, but first, how was your how was your weekend? It was good, man. A good weekend. Uh, you know, uh, friends' birthday, friends in town, mm -hmm. um, hanging out a little bit. It was uh, it was it was good. Definitely good. Um, good weekend. What's up? So, 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 what you know. Good, good weekend. I mean, it must have been it must have been so good that you probably got busy to, to too busy to call some of your friends and, and have them be a part of your good weekend. Right? Oh no, never, I mean, man. Was it that I good? Didn't I mean, get, I texted you. Didn't, you you didn't never texted me, text, text, huh? You know what? Oh, that was, the people that were there, it, they got the they text. Got the text you didn't get the text. I didn't get oh, it. My bad, I didn't man. get it. Next I don't time, know next time. All right, because I was, I was looking. I, okay. I didn't. <laughs> I must have missed that. Maybe. Phone or my service, I gotta talk to people. But I'm glad you had a good weekend. I, was good, I, man. I had a busy weekend. I worked. It's always good weekend. when people come in town, though. You know, saying you, you show them around and show them the great that was sights people. of the Pacific Northwest. What do you think? <laughs> yeah. Well. Okay. That, that, that's cool, man. All right. So, well, like I said, we do want to we do want to address something that happened last week, and you know, we what we do, we have been doing, and what we're gonna keep doing, and doing even more um, in the future is. You know, doing the, the streaming, the live streaming thing, and it's, it's a good way to talk to our friends and family, and make new friends and family, and um, and give our thoughts, and I and, and have a lot of fun with it, and that's what we use this this tool for and this platform for. Uh, unfortunately, some people don't use it for that, and they use it for you know other negative things, and that's what happened last week on Easter, the tragedy. While we were we were having fun, having a good time with our families, and we we came here and had a show last week. Unfortunately, somebody in Cleveland. Uh, took the, you know, opportunity, if I can even say that, to, you know, at, go out and uh, take somebody's life on Facebook Live. Um, and it was a Mr. Robert Goodwin, who's 74 years old. The grand, He's a grandfather, uh, all-around good person from what everybody I heard. And unfortunately, uh, somebody uh, live streamed, you know, uh, and killed him on Facebook. And uh, we just want to take the time to wish um, the family of Mr. Goodwin and all of his loved ones, uh, you know, you know, our condolences in this, in this tough time. And, you know, and I'm not even going to say the guy's name, the, the perpetrator, I'm not even going to bring it up because I, 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 I don't feel like, I feel like that's worthless. It's worthless. And I don't think that any, any coward like that deserves any more attention than he should get, um, you know, and, and he took the coward's way out. And, and uh, you know, it committed suicide after that. And, and to me, one thing that I, I have to say about that is I, I think that, you know, suicide is a terrible thing. And if, if anybody's feeling low, everybody feels low. We all get down, and it's a terrible thing if you if you feel low enough to want to take yourself out. Uh, with that said, nobody should commit suicide. Everybody, there's always a brighter day. But if you do feel that way, don't take somebody else with you because you feel like that. I'm sorry. I just I just. I have no respect. It's the lowest thing I've ever seen. One of them. So well, no, that you, you use the, 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 the social aspect you of use it that to platform do it to do to, it, uh, and that's the unfortunate because, like you said earlier, we do this. We do this because we love movies. We love, you know, we love having fun and talking. And, and that's people. what it's about, man. Kind of connecting with it, with you, you know, everybody, and 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 so when you see people doing stuff like that. It's just 
man. It's just tragic. It, it's it, really it, tragic. The families have to go through it, and um, but you know, sometimes that those type of uh, incidents bring people together. It, it, and, it, and, it, and so that it definitely brings people together, yeah. and it, and you know, in a sense that. You know, there's a lot of terrible people in the world, but there's also a lot of good people in the world. And I think that as as a community of of people, all all kind of people, all races, all everybody, we all should just take 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 the extra effort to just be that much more kinder to people. Be, be a lot more just Humanity. nicer to people. Humanity. Yeah, you know, you don't know how somebody's feeling and how what they're going through. So everybody just take the extra time to just do that. I don't care what what side of the religion uh political background whatever your whatever your views are um your beliefs are you know at the end of the day we're all human beings we're all people and i think that the you know the 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 the, the reality of it is the only thing that you need to know is that everybody should be treated the way that you want to be treated i think that should be this the end the end all be all of everything i had to learn that too i mean not to cut you off because i had to learn that with the political climate the way it is right and, and me having strong views about right. certain things and then i had to kind of sit back and look at him like you know what i'm getting too caught up in that mm -hmm. and i stopped seeing people for being people and mm -hmm. at the end of the day that's what we all are that's all we are and man. you know um when we have incidents like this that happens and i'm, I'm so glad because i've been reading a lot of people's comments and stuff about it there was a lot of humanity out there a lot of people a lot of people and, and, showed and, a lot and that's of what it, that, and that's that, what it's all family. about and so if we can do that then hey, we're, we're we're going in the right direction, I believe. So. Right, and I I just think that there's another another side of that too. And I'm just thinking about the um, you know, take the, take away the murder side of it, which is horrible, it's horrendous, it's terrible. That guy's awful, and he's in a terrible place, I'm sure, right now for doing what he did. So I'll take that side away from okay. you. The suicide aspect is interesting because we just got through watching the show that we both highly reviewed. We both highly recommended. Thirteen reasons. Thirteen why. reasons why. Mm -hmm. they and we really, we really enjoyed that show, uh, but there is a controversy right now that's going on with that show, and it's because of, uh, you know, the the depiction of what happens with the girl. And it is a it's a it's a it's a show about suicide. And I don't that's spoiler alert, but it's not really a spoiler because that's kind of what the synopsis of the show is in general. It's a show that deals with suicide and just you know depression and bullying and all of that stuff and the social media aspect of it and everything. It's all in there. And so it's it's an interesting thing though because there is a big controversy that's going on with that right now with a lot of people thinking that Netflix and the producers of the show were pretty irresponsible almost for depicting uh, you know the girl's situation the suicide the way it is. And I just wonder what do you, what did you think about how that was handled overall? We like the show, we like the performance and acting. But what okay, do you think so about you want me aspect? to take away? What do you think about the, the show? And you want me to deal with the re reality? Yeah, the of realities the of it. How okay. do you what do you feel like about? I that? thought that this show you know, was very realistic mm -hmm. in terms of, I think that when you're a high school, we've all been in high school, and a lot of times we say and do things we don't think about. And right. that's what happened in it, with the show. And, and it, I don't want to give no spoiler alert I'm going to see the show, but anyways. And that's the reality of how it is in high school. And one of the things is it does allow us, when we look back at it and see, it's like, you know, there, there were certain things that we probably you have said, said, I said, everybody and, and, and said. We all done. have done, right? And so I think the show does a good job of showing that, yeah, and shame basing that. So, well, I gotta ask you guys, voice would, over here. If you were a, a teacher, would you have this in like a film study class? Would you want your students to see the show? See, I don't know. So, I, okay, so he, what he asked was if if we were if if we were a teacher or something like that, would this be something that we would show in class? to like teach and uh, like talk about. I don't know, I'm not sure. And, and this is why, this is where I, I'm kind of at with this because I might be on the other side a little bit uh, because even watching it, now I, I thought it was very authentic. I thought it was realistic. I liked the performances and I thought that the subject was, you know, something that is worth talking about. But I also thought there were some things about it that almost felt like they run the risk of of almost, it's, I don't want to say being irresponsible with how they portray it, but kind of, it, it, there's a, there, there is a, a sense of it. To say that in a way, it's glorifying. It is almost seems like it's kind of glorifying it in well, the way that it be, is. Well, I disagree because I think that it still has to be well, a let me, drama. Well, let me, let me, let me say, let me, let me say why. I, I just, the, the way that the, the show is structured um, and the story from the book that the, the, the show is, is, is actually taken from 
the the girl in the in the show, she's you know she basically leaves a trail of breadcrumbs in the form of these tapes for people to follow to, to figure out why. Well, that's the. I mean, yeah, well, that's, you the can, that's the synopsis, synopsis of it. You can you know that. Um, you know, so and 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 it is in those tapes that unravels the reason and mystery behind why she did what she did. So that's not I'm not really giving anything away. That's just what the story is about. But almost in that sense, there was a sense of it while I'm watching it. Like, I don't know, man, because you know, kids are very impressionable. Teenagers are very impressionable, and they, you know, they tend to, especially in this climate, you know, they 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 latch on to things and. You know, I don't know how many videos I see a week that somebody is copycatting somebody else. They're doing something that they've seen. They're, they're repeating things that they've done. And when you show something about this girl who, at one point or another, a lot of people, I don't, if, I don't want to say everybody, but I think most people, at some point or another, you feel like everybody doesn't understand you. Every, you know, the, the, at the end of the world, especially when you're, you're a teenager, everything is so bad. And so when you see this show and where this girl... And you see what she does and how she takes it. And it's almost like, it, it almost seemed like empowering in a way that she took her life into her own hands and dealt with it the way that she did. And then came to this conclusion that this is the way that it did it. So I I got it, but I don't know that everybody will. So that's kind of why I think well, that I it, think might, be, kind of it might be a dangerous Singular way of looking at things. Know, because, man, just, well, because that's not always the case. Because people are still going to commit suicide, no, unfortunately. That's so it doesn't that's matter true. whether or not this show... That's true. It up I, or whatever. I, I, I mean, that, that's yeah. the reality. I don't think that they're right? gonna. I don't think that this show is gonna make anybody commit suicide. No. But I don't want. I just don't like. I know that there's a. It's a copycat world, and when people see people do things online, they do things online the same way. So I don't want. I just don't. I just hope that. Does the good outweigh the bad? Though will people become more aware of those types of situations? I, you would, I would hope that happen because those those situations are still happening. I would. I would hope. So in a way, you're trying to say that you you wouldn't want. The schools to kind of promote this type I don't, of well, I, 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 I'm not saying I don't. And like I said, I like the show. I reviewed it favorably. I liked it a lot. I, you know, I would I, I recommend it in the sense of it's a good television, it's good programming, it's good acting, it's good performances, it's a good show. What I'm saying that I'm not sure about is I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not. I'm not the guy. I'm not a psychiatrist. I'm not. A, I'm not some doctor specialist person. So I don't know about the ramifications about what you know. It what kind of impact it might have on an impressionable teenage mind. So I'm not I'm not that guy. But it also say, gives awareness. I'm, just, I'm saying it might. It also gives awareness. It the, does raise awareness. It, it, I, so, I get that. I mean, I get it, that. It's, just, it's, a, it's a fine line. I just it is it. a fine line, but sometimes we have to have awareness about these type of situations and that these situations do occur. I mean, you know, we in the barbershop sometimes, and, and, and there's times that lines have been crossed. All the and time. And you don't even think, you know, I'm, I'm <laughs> All like, well, the time, especially and, at this barbershop. Okay, no, no, no. We won't say the name of the barbershop. <laughs> no, 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 no. We ain't gonna say the name of the barbershop. No, no, no. It, 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 it only gets crossed when there's people that we know. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, it, it only comes yeah. with people we know. No, but, but um, you know, and I think I think we really need to become more aware of that, that this does happen. Right. And what can we do to, to somewhat right. ease it? Right, we do name calling, you know. We talk all about of that people. stuff. All of that stuff. I loved about the show. I loved. The, I loved the way that they showed that, and and it, it, the, the 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 time that the people in the show actually had to address the 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 the, the, re, the things that they did that would help this person get to that point or or hurt this person. I liked the fact that they did deal with people taking responsibility. For how they treated somebody, I love that part of it. I just feel like there were certain aspects of it that I hope people don't copy in the wrong way. It's all I'm saying, and it's 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 still it's I, I still a very you, re highly reviewed saying. show. I'm kind of I'm really in the middle with it. I, I feel like I hear what Barry's saying also, and I hear what you're saying in a sense where you don't want a copycat to be like, well, I'm going to teach all my friends a lesson. That's it. That's that's, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I don't I, I don't want. Well, it worked for Hannah but, on on Thirteen Reasons Why, so maybe I should do this, and maybe then everybody will get why they were so bad to me and what it did to my me. Name I don't be. want, and then and then they will remember me the same way they remembered her. I don't want people to think like that because that's stupid. That's not how. They, there's so many more reasons to live, and 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 there's so many more but Terry, but Terry, things to I live don't, for. I, 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 I think at. though what it did show in the show, and I'm not going to give it away mm -hmm. is that the kids had a realization about the effects of their behavior yeah and that, that goes again, I like without that. saying to a lot of us but we don't sometimes right. i mean we constantly do that right. and so that's 
the important lesson that can be learned in this TV show. Mm. And let's not forget that aspect of it. So I understand what you're saying, right. but there were other realities I liked within the show that can help, I think, and make people more aware of when people, A, depression, mm -hmm. B, as a parent, mm -hmm. we have kids, there were some signs. Watch them. <laughs> Look yeah. at your kids. You know, and there were signs that the parents didn't miss, but we all would possibly could miss. Right. In a way, this movie sort of, reminded, I mean, this Netflix special reminded me of the movie Kids. I don't know if you've seen that, but it reminded yeah. me of that. Yeah. Anyway, it kind of, in a way, it reminded yeah, me of Yeah, kids, 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 though, kids was a lot more gratuitous and, and, and over the top. And it was way over the top. I mean, and it was more, the top. we, I, kids was one of those movies where, like, after the first hour or so, I'm like, I got it. Like, you don't have to keep, yeah. you know, you, you yeah. made your point. You're probably synopsis of what the kids is about. Yeah, kids, movie. kids is a movie that came out of probably, like, I don't know about, no, that's about, I like, seven, that's almost 20 years ago. What? That's a, that movie's Damn. old. Yeah, yeah, kids. It's a movie uh, with a bunch of really unknown people. I think maybe Chloe Sevigny is in that movie. Yep. Uh, but other than that, it was a lot of unknown actors and just basically kids and what they're doing when you're not looking. And so if you want to look, if you want to look that up, look that up. I I, I won't recommend it. Might be a good show, it. kind of to watch along with this 13. Hey, maybe. Like I I, I, I would yeah. I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend kids. You're not missing anything if you've ever seen it. The kids oh, kids anything. are bad when they're when nobody's looking. Is basically the point of that movie. But anyway, so anyway. If you feel low, if you're feeling down, get, look, you got a lot of things to live for, and that's all we want to get through. And the, 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 the show 13 Reasons Why, I feel still, I still recommend it as a show to watch. It's a good show, but with caution. I think that is a show that, that basically should be, if you have kids or teenagers mm -hmm. watching it, you should watch it with them and talk well, to them. Well, possibly, but yeah, so it's a good you, show. Would and, you recommend this show? Absolutely. If, if your son was... It is at least a teenager. I don't well, with the discussion, I would. I don't know if this kid's ever gonna get down. He might. Be, he's, yeah. <laughs> he pretty, his son's pretty confident. <laughs> well, we're gonna leave that. Right. We're gonna leave that. But and, no, seriously. And no, everybody, show. everybody, five feel five good. Stars, what would you get? Oh, I gave it. I gave it. Uh, I thought it was. Four, I, I, I got three four. and a half. Three and a half. I thought out of five four. stars. Out of five. No, that we both said four and a half. Uh, well, I gotta look back on it, but yeah. I, I, you know, it's, it's close. Remember when we did that with. A little big lies. Yeah, big we did. Life. We did that, but it was. It's a. It's highly recommended by us. Still watch it. But if you have kids, talk to them. And I think good job, Netflix, talk to good them job anyway. Netflix on that, that show. I think anybody Netflix. needs to talk to your kids and, and 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 people anyway about that because, you know, obviously in real world situations, people do feel down and they do they go through drastic measures when it does it, when they feel like that. And everybody needs to talk about that cool. stuff. Hug somebody. Love everybody. And. Let's just be better, everybody. Yeah, cool. So that's we're gonna leave that now there. We, now and we, now yeah. we're gonna bring it up. We're Let's gonna go. bring it up and, and, and have a more you positive me, thing. Yeah, you got me a little down, man. Well, well now know. we're gonna bring it back All up. Right. We're gonna talk about the yeah, billion dollar yeah. movie bring club. Up, so in honor of a movie that we both watched and I think we both loved. I think we both great, highly rated Fate of the Furious last week, right? One of the worst highly movies. Highly rated it. That was, a, that was the movie I Are gave Are you zero. changing your thoughts now, Barry? What? Are you changing your thoughts now? That was now? a movie that I gave no stars to. I thought he gave five stars to that. Please, really? come on. Let's okay, well, he didn't like Fate of the Furious, but I thought it was a good movie. I thought it was a great action movie, and it just crossed 900 million Can I ask worldwide. you a question about the movie without That's giving crazy. a spoiler? Because the whole damn... Well, don't give a spoiler. Uh, it's not no spoiler when you watch the movies. Well, no plot to they, the movie. Well, well somebody they, might. Okay. Somebody might. The ice scene. What was it? Just, uh, that, that was like, Look, really? Man, these guys are the Avengers of the road. They live their lives a Tear. quarter mile Tear. at a time. It has to be a certain point in life. Quarter mile. <laughs> Look, man. I like the movie. It made 900 million, which means by next week, it's going to be a billion dollar picture, if you can believe that. So it, it goes to show do, you about our movie taste, people. Look, this well, we are going to talk about the movies that have crossed the billion dollar mark. And there's only been 27 of them by this count over here, and it's about and, to be and, more. And 18 of them are not very good. <sighs> We're going to see about that. We're going to start off with one that I think is very good. Number 27 on the billion dollar club list is 2008's The Dark Knight, Christopher Nolan's Batman masterpiece which starred Christian Bale as Batman the Dark Knight himself and Heath Ledger with an Academy Award turning performance as the Joker Barry the Dark Knight excellent movie yeah it's it, now that movie how many stars would you give no, the Dark Knight yeah, we're going out of five out of five uh, it, it's it's I gave it five yeah I, I will say I five. give it five five for the amount of times I actually saw that yeah, movie in the movie man. theater 
You, you went I went. Fight. I'm a Batman fan. Yeah, man. I, I, I seen. I seen him do Batman right. I went to the movie yeah. games five times to watch the Heath Dark Ledger, Knight. That's right. Heath Ledger was off the. I did. Man, that movie was. Yeah. Amazing. The only comic book movie to ever win an Oscar for a, 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 an acting performance, and it was the uh, uh, posthumously because um, Heath Ledger died, but he got. He still won the award. He would have won that award even if he was alive. He, he, he was outstanding. Yeah. Dark Knight, number twenty-seven on. The all-time billion-dollar club list of movies. Surprise, it's not more than you know. It well, like well, you gotta you gotta think too. Movie prices have gone up in the last ten years. Yeah, that's two thousand and eight. So you're you're not even you're not even talking about the three D prices that cash grab crap that I hate that they do now with these three D movies and they're it's easier to cross a billion dollars. So that, that goes before, a lot into it. Was that before Avatar? That was a year before, yeah, Avatar. before Avatar. So all right, so that number twenty-seven on the list, two thousand twelve. The Hobbit, an unexpected journey. Mm. What did you think about that one? Yeah, that's the I, that's the first Hobbit movie. Now the Hobbit movies I'm not, you know, are I'm prequel. Not into those type of they're movies. prequel to the Lord of the Rings movies, and uh, you know Martin What's Freeman the stars. What's difference between as, those or, or uh, Lord of the Rings? Aren't they the same? Well, they're they? different stories. Oh, not really. Same looking. Well, they people. are different stories. Uh, same looking people. Uh, <laughs> same looking people. There is different stories. And yeah, the, the 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 second Hobbit, the, the second Lord of the Rings trilogy, which is the Hobbit trilogy, is a different. It, it's almost like the it's almost like the Star Wars prequels to Star Wars, where Star Wars the original trilogy. I'll put that in the same the category as Twilight. Are like, you know, I try to watch it. I'm like, no, they're not that. This bad. is the same. No, I, I just don't understand what people see. They're not it. that bad. Also, Those movies are not good. They're, okay, okay. Well, you're wrong about the Lord of the Rings movies overall. You're Twilight saying like overall. That that's that's not even oh, the same thing. I just put it in the same category. No, it's not. The okay. Hobbit and the Twilight movies are not the same. Oh my goodness. We can also do some good Well, that stuff. was The Hobbit. The Hobbit was number Dark Knight was good. All right, number 25, Zootopia. Came out last year. Okay. What do like you think about that one? I'm surprised with that. Zootopia. I am too. I didn't think it was that big. Zootopia. You thought it was. You, no, you're surprised? No, it, see, it doesn't surprise me because actually, if you really think about a movie like Zootopia, Zootopia is a movie that it follows. It's an animal kingdom it's kind a of, movie, kind of right? a, you know, a Disney movie where all the animals talk and do stuff and it's a, it follows a, a cute bunny who's a cop and uh, yeah. all this cool stuff. It's a good movie though. It's a fun movie and I think that it has a cool little story. It actually deals with kind of real world yeah. issues and, and they do it in a cool way so parents can, can laugh and enjoy it and it's colorful. Actually, it's actually these type of movie, kid movies are almost almost better than some of these adult movies. A lot of them are and know, I thought so. the Zootopia is right up there. Mary, Z you, Mary, Mary, you like uh, Zootopia? Horrible. Okay, well he, he right. like that's, why, that's why you're sitting over there. Alright, number 24 and I think we're both going to agree with this one. Alice in Wonderland, 2010. It's t wow. uh, Tim Burton's Alice wow. in Wonderland movie Hell. with uh, Tim Burton, uh, no, with uh, Tim Burton's favorite guy, on. Johnny Depp, playing the Mad Hatter. I didn't get it. It was terrible. Colors were crazy. The people were crazy. Everything looked weird. I thought the movie sucked. That's along the line. I have to, that was now. That's, that's one of those ones. That's one of those ones. Alice in Wonderland is one of those ones. that I'm like, who went to see that movie enough to make it a billion dollars? That, I don't get it. That one I don't get because I don't even see why parents would take their kids. Because it's weird. It's not even like fun kid stuff. It's like weird stuff. So I don't get yeah, it. Yeah, I thought it was uh, really abstract. <laughs> really? I, that's being kind, man. Yeah, I, I, movies. yeah I did, and I like Johnny Depp. Oh, I was crap. like, man, that was disappointing. I didn't get that movie. All right, number 23. <laughs> see, I'm a Star Wars guy, so this is you know one that I've seen a, a bunch of times thought about, but this is not a good one. Star Wars, episode one, The Phantom Menace, one of the worst in the series the second worst in the whole series. Not a good Star Wars movie. I still saw it three times because I'm a Star Wars guy. I saw it three times in the movie theater. Like what do you think you about like Phantom Menace? Kidding. Only really Star Wars I like was Return of the Jedi, Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, well, Phantom Menace, not a favorite of both Star Wars fans, and that one's on the list. Yeah, like, even the first Star Wars was disappointing. Was it good? Now, see, this is the moment where we go from we're being cool and we're all cool until he says something blasphemous. <laughs> blasphemous. How many times you watched the first Star Wars? The first Star Wars movie? I don't even know how many times I watched the first Star Wars movie. Don't you ever disrespect the first no, Star it, Wars I movie? No, I watched it. I just said, no, no I. No, what? Terry, no, what did you say? Terry. What did you say? I didn't think it was that Watch your mouth when you say it. Oh, uh, all right. Watch it okay. when you say it. You live in a, you, you're being he a little, is saying, look. You live in a fantasy blasphemous. world. <laughs> blasphemous. Blasphemous. <laughs> ah. Yeah. All right, so now oh, I'm just gonna move on to the next. Boys, hold on, boys. Star Wars, the first Star Wars the, is really good. Oh, you just what, it's killing me. Just hear this. And when it, the first of its kind, I think it's amazing. When you gotta go back to it's still it's a Star right Wars. Now, it's is, the it's a Star. Are you so kidding me? Old. I said, hold on. I said the ones I like 
It's not better than Empire Strikes Back. It's not better Nothing's than better than Empire Strikes Back. Okay, that's okay. But so that, that's okay. That's the greatest thing ever. It's all right. Oh, my like, God. I'm going to move on from this one. I don't even want to talk about that. All right, number 22, Finding Dory. came out in 2016. Finding Dory, the sequel to Finding Nemo with Ellen DeGeneres uh, as, as Dory. What do you think about Finding I Dory? I loved it. You I, love I, Finding I, Dory? I loved it. It, it. it looked so good on the screen. Great looking pic, uh, picture. It was, it was kind of funny. I like Finding Dory. I didn't love it. What? I love Finding, I love Finding Nemo. I thought Finding Nemo we was great. Kid, little Barry. Finding Finding Dory. You, know, we, you like Finding yeah, Dory? Yeah, we loved it. I, didn't, I, I thought that Finding Dory was coming out. I, I don't... I don't know Stay why. I don't know why they they. There was a thing that Finding Nemo did, where in Finding Nemo the original one, the, the 2003 movie, the classic movie. Why are you comparing those two? Because it's the same franchise. Are you kidding me? Just like you just compared Star Wars to the Phantom Menace. This is the same exact reason why. And the first mm-hmm. Finding Nemo was like I, the reason why I like that is because they they did it in kind of a realistic kind of thing where you could kind of look at this as an everyday life of a fish. Even though it, it still is a cartoon, you get to look at that. There's parts in Finding Dory where they like it. Just like really, they're driving cars now. So yeah, I, I so Finding Dory, I didn't love it. It wasn't bad at all. I just didn't love that one. So let's move on. Number twenty one, the original Jurassic Park from nineteen ninety three. Yeah, that was good. Oh, we we can all agree. Can't on that. complain yeah. about that. The, the 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 first the first time when you're in that movie theater, I remember I was a, I was in. I, what fifth grade or something like that when the movie came out? I remember be, being I was in, in third grade. Being so. in the uh, stop lying, <laughs> stop lying. We ain't gonna, we ain't gonna talk about it. We stop lying. So, so I remember being there. I remember when that when that first came out and that first shot of the the, the glass of water on the on the yeah. dashboard. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and when, when the when the when the when the T Rex is walking, but you don't see the T Rex. All you see is that water ripple. And that's just Steven Spielberg at his best, man. And then you just and, and, and all you hear is the the, the thumping in the background. Yeah. Of the, of the T Rex coming! Oh my God, that movie, movie is so great. Great. Movie. great. I thought I thought the build up, the suspense in it, right. was, was really good. Right. So I mean, right. It, it, they and they never did it better, and we'll get back to that later. Yeah. But uh, that's number twenty one, yeah. Jurassic I, Park. I agree with that. All right, number twenty, Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides, two thousand eleven. That's the fourth entry, I think. And know. that's when it got played out. I thought it was played out like. Two movies yeah. in, so oh, well, they just try to use the money and, and keep going. I, so I'm sitting there. I, I watch the Pirates of the Caribbean, the Pirates of the Caribbean movies, and I'm watching Jack, Johnny Depp go through the motions yeah. as Jack Sparrow, and I'm just wondering why am I watching this? Oh, yeah. Every time he got watch, watch, like, he got twenty million. So oh, I know why he's doing yeah, it. Uh, I'm, I'm just, just wondering saying. why I'm watching it. When and, and you can tell it was just a half, yeah, type of performance. Yeah. Wait, so, let's talk about him, Johnny Depp. Quick. What's going on with him? Let's talk he, about Johnny Depp because he hasn't really. Has he been good in something lately? Oh, he was good in Black Mass. Are you? Are you? Where was playing Whitey Bulger? You didn't like him in Black oh, Mass? Oh, that was a horrible movie. Oh, I liked him. No, I didn't like that at all. Why? What's wrong with it? I just thought it was boring for a moment. The movie. I'm saying he was good in it. Though. I, I mean, no, it's just. I, no, no, I thought he was I good. Didn't, in it. I didn't watch the movie. Yeah, I thought, I, I thought, I thought, I thought that was a, a good departure from his, you know, Jack Sparrow esque type character yeah, that the he's dark, been doing. Dark kind you know, of like movie. he did the vampire thing not too long ago, where it's just kind of the same. Yeah. Guy. he's doing uh, these weird, quirky guys. It just feels like he's, he's paying bills. Right but Johnny Depp yeah, is a yeah. good actor. When he's in a good role, he's a good actor. I think when he's in, when he when he really well, gets, no, when a role's suited more for him. No, I don't. I don't think he has to be. I think he's a, such a good character actor though that when he gets in, when he gets in a role, he becomes whatever he's doing. I think he's one of those guys. Uh, I don't know, man. I think he's he's better as. I, as he was as, good. As, he was good in the uh, the the Dillinger movie. What was it the um the movie with the, oh yeah the uh, uh, Public uh, Enemies with Christian Bale? That was interesting. Yeah, well, Michael yeah, Mann. I'm just saying though. They, like, when I, he's I, I don't know, I, I don't know if really I have such a, at a high level that even that one Public Enemies. I'm like, oh, it just. No. Maybe it was the story. I don't know. I don't know. I think he's uh, good. I think he's good. So, but the, uh, the pirates thing, I'm not yeah, a big fan of anymore. And then that brings us to the next one: Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest is number nineteen, two thousand six. The uh, this is third. That's the second, second one, and that's right. That's when it's like, you know what? It, it didn't suck. It sucked. It wasn't as the, good as the, the first yeah, one. it wasn't as good as the first yeah, one, but it didn't suck like the other ones end up doing afterwards. But it was just one of those things like. What is this? Doesn't make any sense. So it was one of those movies, but yeah, moving on. Made a lot of money. All right, number eighteen. I love this movie, Toy Story three, two thousand ten. I could watch this movie a million times. It's probably the best part three in movie history. I think uh, Toy Story three is amazing. I, I I remember. Did that win an Oscar? No, it was. No, it, it was nominated. Though. Was, was it? Not, was it nominated? It might it have been nominated. nominated. Um, 
I don't know. I'm not sure. But it, but uh, but I, it should have been. I, and I, I could have made the case for that one movie to win Best Picture. I love that movie. And I, it was one. I don't know. I I thought like when Again, I played, it, it, visually it was stimulated. I, I like. Oh the man, the story is what gets me with that man. Even more than the visuals. Mm. The story. Look, Toy Story three. It's one of those movies like because I love the first two so much. The first two Toy Stories are so good. And then like and it's one of those movies. If you got any kids. And you're sitting there, there's no way you don't watch Toy Story with your kids. Like, you're sitting there, they're watching it, and you're kind of like watching it because they're watching it, but it's, it's just an excuse because you want to see it too. And it's, it's one of those ones that it came, when they said they're making part three, I was like, why are they making three? The, the second one ended so perfectly. Why are they making it? And then you see three, and three ends so perfectly. There's, I love that movie. Uh, yeah. I've never been choked up. They're the last, they're the, the, yeah, last scene, I, I, the last scene, or the last scenes in Toy Story 3, it can make a grown man cry. And it almost I made this one for me. I love that movie. You gotta be real, like me. Five ain't stars. Toy no, no Story three. Re oh, he's real. Huh? He's, <laughs> he's too tough. He's too hard. He's too hard. To cry. Yeah. All right. But number seventeen, The Dark Knight Rises, the sequel to The Dark Knight, came out in two thousand twelve. The last one in the Christopher Nolan trilogy of Batman. Uh, it stars Christian Bale as Batman, uh, and it starred um, your boy Tom Hardy as man, Bane. Bane. What do you think about Dark Knight Rises? Oh man, I loved it. Yeah. I love that. I, I'm gonna try to think when we went over this list. Is that what's what's his best Dark Man? Or, what do you mean? Or, or, what do you mean? Uh, what, what, what's more money or no? What's the best one? Oh, the Dark Knight. Uh, the, the Dark Knight. The Dark Knight. The one with the, with the one with the Joker. He's legend. Yeah. By far. Yeah. But but I mean but I mean like uh, the Dark Knight Rises. It's a good follow up. The thing that hurt the Dark Knight Rises the most was that it came after the Dark Knight. And that the yeah, Dark Knight it, had, the Dark Knight was so far beyond, good. leaps and bounds, beyond so anything that's ever come before that in terms of comic movies, in terms of Batman movies, that the Dark Knight Rises, it, it almost had the impossible task because if you watch the way that the first, that the Dark Knight is structured, you know there's no way that they didn't have a complete plan for Heath Ledger's Joker to, to be back in the Dark Knight yeah. Rises. That would have been his movie. So they had to completely alter the story because there was no way anybody could touch that character in that trilogy, once Heath Ledger did it, you know, uh, at least... I thought, I thought, though, I will say that I thought it was Christian Bale's best performance. So. And, uh, I agree with that. I, I think, agree with that. I, I think it showed the depth of he got Bale He, and, he and, did and a lot Christian more... Is, yeah. He did a lot, he did a lot more, more as Bruce Wayne, right, yeah. in that movie. I yeah. agree with that. They almost should have just called it, like... Bruce Wayne's movie. Uh, yeah, well, he does. He's not. He's only Batman for like yeah. fifteen movie, minutes in the movie. But, the, the, but yeah, the time he's Batman, he goes off. Though, yeah, he right? goes off. He goes off. But I, I just thought, like, I thought that the Bane storyline was great when it was Bane, and then they do some things at the end. Did that we kind forget of to away mention that when in, when it came to the best action movies. Which movie? one? No, you said Dark Knight oh, in your action okay, movies. I want to make sure. So Dark Knight, anyway, that's number. There's number seven, seventeen on the list. And number uh, sixteen. Oh, one of my favorites, Transformers: The Age of Extinction, the last Transformer movie that came out in 2014. Is that this, if Mark I could give, if I could oh, give that a was movie, a good one. that's the one of Mark Wahlberg. Mark Wahlberg. Oh, that's good. Let movie. me hear this. Oh my God. Oh, oh, oh my God. Let me hear this right now because this is a guy who just put down the Fast and the Furious, and he just said that this is a good one of the Transformers. I want the floor is yours. The floor is yours. Explain. When yourself. I watch Transformers, explain I understand, yourself. I understand that it's not supposed to be real. Oh, oh, oh my. God. Are you going to tell me that you're going to compare Transformers oh. to Fast and Furious where they acting? Kill him! Kill him! It was it was solid. It was Transformers. A no, I'm not going. It was no. Was if I movie. could if I could take stars away from a movie, I would take it immediately for uh, every trip. This movie you is trash. About. It's not trash. It is hot garbage. It is. What's wrong? Okay, come out. What's it? But this like movie is terrible. Huh? You like the first Transformers? I didn't like the first Transformer movie, but it didn't suck you like anywhere Fast near to How the does that work? to the depth <laughs> of this. How does that work? This you like Fast and the Furious, but then you go oh talk about God. Transformers. Fast and the Furious is like Citizen Kane compared to Transformers. Are you kidding me? Oh my God! Oh, I'm sorry. They're not on ice. I'm, I, my they, bad. Yeah, well, they were on everything. Yeah, okay. Somebody's on go. acid when they make oh, those yeah. movies. Okay. I don't know what kind of crack you were on when you were watching them. I'm sorry. They're not doing the rock bottom wrestling moves. See, they like should. wrestling. And if you're not doing wrestling oh. moves in an action oh. movie, that's oh, the problem God. for this guy. Oh, please stop. Moving stop. on. Stop. Moving on. Transform. That was a good movie. <laughs> no, it was not. And do not listen to that. Good boy. Don't. Am I lying? <laughs> how, do, how do you wait? wait no, time out. Can I ask a question? How can you do a wrestling move in a real in a movie? And you gonna tell me that's a good movie? It, I'm done. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. He did the rock bottom. Wait a he does a wrestling. Really? Wait a minute. Are you are you actually <laughs> arguing about physics? 
When you're talking about a movie about cars that turn into robots, aliens I'm, from another planet. We understand that going into the movie. No. You think Fast and Furious is real? Re- re- so, so, yeah, so you thought it was a good movie to watch a, watch a, a robot sit up there and, and pee on the other guys or whatever with his oil out of his... Oh. Uh, Transformer. Everybody watch Transformer. No. And Mar- why is Mark Wahlberg even in the movie? Good, good actor to understand... Yeah. Why is he even in the Mark, movie? Mark Wahlberg in the movie. Why is he, he in the movie? Himself. Why is he in the movie? Hey, movie. it's me, Mark Wahlberg. Wait, Mark wait, Wahlberg. Time out. Time out. Time out. I want to help the, these robots. You got the dash. I want to the, help these you robots. You got the dash of the clown. Hold on. Time out. You're clown of Mark Wahlberg. You like Vin Diesel? Oh, oh no. Oh, really? No. You like Vin Diesel? No, 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 no. Vin Diesel's no, 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 a good no, no, actor. I'm not clowning Mark Wahlberg. Mark Wahlberg killed I'm not clowning his acting. I'm clowning his basement and the is the worst. Transformers. Vin Diesel's the worst actor in, in Hollywood right now. Uh, uh, he lives his life is he a not quarter mile actor? at a time. Carlo Paz said Transformers was terrible. The only reason people would see it was for Megan Fox. Car- no, Carlos you're talking about you're talking about Tra- sh- Megan Fox wasn't in the other one, yeah. and that's what even took it down even lower. So anyway, let's get on from there because we're not gonna ever agree on that. Wait, 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 wait. So number fifteen, Skyfall. James Bond, okay. I, I, 2012, yeah. Skyfall. Yeah, good movie. Yeah. I don't think it's one of, it's, I don't think it's one of the better out of the out of the Daniel Craig though. What would, would you put that? I think oh. that's zoo, Casino Royale is pretty good though. It's Casino, Casino Royale. Royale. Yeah, yeah Casino, Casino. I go Casino Royale first. Casino Royale. But Skyfall is yeah. good. It's not a, it, it, a little too much CGI for me. Was it CGI for you? That's the problem. Javier Bardem was good as a as a bad guy. You want to know what my biggest problem with Skyfall? Yeah, was? but it was it was yeah, it got a little cheesy on a couple. He's, he's just not. James yeah, he don't seem like James. He's like Jason oh, Bourne. Who? D- Daniel Craig. He don't really seem oh, like no, James yeah, Bourne. No, he's good. He's a good. I'm not saying Bond. he's a. I'm Actually, saying he's a good. He's a good action special agent guy, but I don't think he's really like James Bond though. Like you know, James Bond with the, you know, martinis and shaking but not stirred. He's not really like. Well, he's a little guy. maybe. You talking about? He's, he's more like rugged more. and. No, I'm not talking about the way he looks necessarily. I'm just talking about the way he acts. He's more like. He seems more like a like a Jason Bourne type assassin agent guy. Nah, Jason Bourne is not really that good, so. Oh, God. Anyway. So that's Skyfall. You know what my biggest problem with Skyfall though was Skyfall, it seemed like there was a there was a moment where it's like they took this entire plot from the Dark Knight. I thought like the whole the whole middle well, part of the movie was no, like nobody thought that. Okay, watch the movie. Okay. I'm just saying, you can watch it. Watch the part where Har- Javier Bardem's guy uh, intent. Never mind, I won't spoil it. Just, now he, he, you'll see it. he was he was good. He was good. He was I just good. I, I just I felt a little bit of Dark Knightish in that movie. But anyway, oh. it was it was a good movie though. It was a good movie. Um, number fourteen. Now this is gonna be interesting. Lord of the Rings: The Return of the King, the the, the third entry to the franchise of 2003, the one that won like twelve Oscars or something like that. Won Best Picture. Lord of the what Rings: about Return it? of the King. What do you think of that movie? Uh, like Charlie the King. Those movies don't really do that. No, that one's like Twilight, right? Uh, kind of. Too much, too much fantasy for you. I, I'm not really, and I'm not trying. He's not, to you're just not. You're not a. That's not. That's not the thing. There, Lord of the Rings is great. To me, that, okay. to me, well, to he, me, he, in my opinion, he took that it's over. Great. Yeah. Okay. It's great. Cool. It's great. I, I like him. You. He just doesn't like him. That's not his thing. For me, if you want to see good fan, I think that's the best fantasy, like fantasy picture. I think that's the best. one. So me watching. Men in little costumes running, you know, and, and doing. You're yeah, not into stuff. the fairies. And yeah, the fairies. that's just a little, you know. All yeah, right, well, number 13, Transformers <laughs> Dark Side of the Moon, another one. The third one in the Transformers Crap Fest uh, franchise. Yeah, I will agree with, with you on that. Movie. That wasn't very, <laughs> that that wasn't very good. That yeah. We can leave that there. Yeah. 13, is that. Oh, number 12, Captain America Civil War, yeah. last year. Yeah. That one is the one that had Chris Evans, uh, Captain America versus uh, Robert Downey Jr.'s Iron Man. And uh, uh, and uh, Black Panther's in it for the first time. Actually, Black Panther killed the, kills that movie. Tom Black, Holland, Spider Man, everybody's who's in the that movie. Who's the best action hero in there? I didn't huh? know that movie made a billion dollars. I yeah, did. yeah, I did. Who's the best in that? In the, uh, uh, the and, uh, and, and the uh, Captain America, all of them. And Captain America? Would you want? Oh, in the movie? Uh, I don't know, man. I, I love I, like I love Black all Panther. of them. Black Panther. He didn't he didn't get enough in the movie for me to really. The action scenes were good. But he's gonna be great, and that's gonna be one I'm looking for next year. Next year, it was 2000. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, that airports. The airport scene, airport one of the best scene, comic yeah. book movie scenes ever. Amazing. All right, number 11. Now, I don't get this one. Minions, 2015. Minions. I try to watch it. I just didn't... Uh, Minions are, are good side characters. They do not need their own movie. Yeah. That's how I look at it. Little Bear, you like it? Yeah. They don't need their own movie. I don't understand why they had their own movie. Yeah. Just I, uh, sitting, there for, sitting there for two hours wondering, yeah, just, I don't get it, man. I don't get it. It was hard for watching, but that's what... The kids like it. Hey, it's good for them. All right, number ten, Iron Man three. 
2013, the third movie in the Iron Man franchise. I thought the first Iron Man was the best one, right? Right, but this is the billion dollar one and the number three. What did you think about that one? I didn't, I thought it was okay. I didn't like Iron Man 3. And I'm a big Marvel movie fan. Iron Man 3 took way too many liberties with characters. I think Robert Downey, I think that character... He wasn't even was, Iron Man that much yeah, in the movie. It I was think, Tony Stark the movie. This was sort of like Dark Knight Rises. This was just... No, 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 no Dark Knight Rises is better. Really that's a little bit in a sense where he's not... The superhero. Yeah, well, it just was. I, I wasn't in love. And with I just that didn't think his performance was really good. Like, was oh like, no, I wouldn't say that. I think it was good at Tony Stark in the movie. He just, like he just he was, was Tony just, Stark. It's just the same. Yeah. He just being himself the whole. Time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just was had it on on autopilot at yeah. this point. He's time cast now. Mm-hmm. You no, know, it's, well, he, it's making billions of dollars, so it's working <laughs> for him. All right, now number nine, Frozen, 2013. Frozen. What do you think? Mm-hmm. Let it go. Yeah. Let it go. <laughs> what do you think about that one, man? It's okay. It's all right. Yeah, you know, cause when I grew up watching like The Lion King, Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast, and all these other like really, really classic good, ones. Yeah. So when I when they make these big deal about some of these ones like Frozen, I'm kind of like, eh, you didn't like Frozen? It was cool. Frozen, yeah. was, Frozen was okay. I didn't. I didn't. I, I, I'm surprised. Well, no, yeah. I'm not. I'm not surprised it made a million dollars. I can disagree with both of you guys on this. I thought Frozen was. Yeah, I it was right. really? I thought right. it was good. All right. Yeah. Well, I didn't. I didn't. The, the I'm not a you know. Iconic song. Kids like it. Kids, kids like it. Yeah, kids, kids like it. They like it. I, I t- for me, it wasn't. I I thought it was a little overrated, but that's just me. Yeah. So um, number eight, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part Two. Uh, that's the second. That's the the second of the two parter. The last Harry Potter movie. Yeah. Well, I'm not. Again, yeah. fantasy movies not his thing. I thought it was it's good. amazing though that I, that, it good. No, I will say it's amazing that fantasy movies are dominating. Well, that, I mean, it, to it, me, and this is like, what wow. are movies? What are movies? Movies are it's escapism. You when you you got all the stress and problems in the world. I don't necessarily want to go see other people have stress and problems all the time. Sometimes, for the average person, especially, I like films, so I watch a bunch of stuff. They just seem real, most people want to escape. They seem real cheesy to me. That's, that's, that's the reason why you like Transformers, right? Because it's something. That but it's not something he likes Transformers because he's sniffing glue. When he watches, oh, well, talk about first of all, I grew up. I grew up. You like the cartoons. I grew just, up watching them too. So, I, was, I, I mean, you know, you couldn't. Yeah, I, I just, I'm surprised. It's just so much cheesy though. But okay. Yeah. Well, Harry Potter. I thought all that right, was thanks. Harry Potter is a great franchise as far as for people that are, are fans of the movies. And even if you, if you Maybe watch the movie, like you like Maybe it'd be like like Vin Diesel being like in close to fifty, <laughs> and they're still doing <laughs> Terry. Maybe and then Terry's going. All right, be, number seven. Terry's going to believe it. Number seven, I will believe it because he lives his life. A quarter mile at a time. There you go. All right, so number seven on the list, Age of Ultron, the second Avengers movie. That was good. That came out. Yeah, that was good. good. Not as good as the first no, one, but it was, no, good. it was good. It was good. Good, good, solid action. It was, it was good. <laughs> number six, Barry's favorite, Fast and the Furious 7, Furious 7, 2015. The last one that starred uh, Paul Walker in it. They had to stop filming it uh, for a while because he died, unfortunately. They used his, then they used his brother. His brother was on some of the scenes. They had a lot of guys in there. Some of the raid guys were in the movie. The first one, Jason Statham in it. The Rock is in it. Everybody. What did you think of that Fast 7? Furious 7. Uh, well, I mean, I will say it was better than this last one. So, so Barry, would you just put all the Fast and Furious movies in just a box that you just don't like? Uh, no, listen, I gave it a chance. It's just got, what I'm saying is, after the second or third, well, after the third, it just went downhill. I just don't understand any storyline in it, and it's just he doesn't same. have to. These guys are 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 they're superheroes now. That's all it is, really. And I'll take Vin Diesel's car and drive over the entire box set collection of Transformers tomorrow. So anyway, number five, Marvel's The Avengers, the first Avengers movie, 2012. Yeah, no, yeah. I liked it. Yeah. Great, yeah. great movie. One of the best comic book movies. I will have to rank comic book movies eventually oh, in the future. I'll, yeah, I would. And that one's going to be high on the list. That one's great. The first time that they ever did the shared universe in film, really, to where all these movie uh, uh, separate entries were all tied together, and then they brought them together in this one picture, and it worked beautifully. It just it, it worked so great. And it was, it, Joss Whedon, who directed the movie, did such a great job of giving every Everybody character had their, 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 time their moment and, to shine and, in that movie. Yeah, and they had their timing, and they had a good story. Great action sequences, yeah. memorable moments. That's what everything that I thought it, classic it did a great job of balancing, adventure movie was. balancing both the action right. and, and the drama. So, right. yeah, it was good. so yeah, Avengers rightfully placed on this list. Uh, number four, Jurassic World. Uh, Ooh, the, the latest Jurassic listen, World man. movie, number four. What do you think of that movie? You know, I, I watched the first time. I, I wasn't really that high. I went back and watched it again. I I, I liked it. I actually did like it. I, it's not as good as the original. Not even close. No, but uh, it's not bad either. And it, it's not bad. I, and they used some of the parts of the original. 
I gotta be not biased. I gotta be not biased because when I first saw the movie, I liked it. I didn't love it at all. I thought it was. I thought it was a really. I thought it was a really rehash of the first movie in a lot of ways, and I thought that I really didn't like a lot of the stuff they did with the new dinosaur, with the new species, whatever thing that they were doing. So I didn't love that that much. But I think once it made as much money as it did, I was like, really? So that I, so I try not to think about it in those terms. But it was just like I, I don't, I don't, I just didn't get it while that movie made that much money. But it was, it was, it was all right to me. It was good. <clears throat> Wasn't much story to it. Not at all. I. I Let's militarize these yeah. dinosaurs. And when you have to like make a problem. Yeah, it, 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 especially when you're, you're already you're already dealing with dinosaurs. Yeah. Just make it the dinosaurs the thing. Like you don't have to turn them into some well, the weird first Terminator one, but, but dinosaur. The, yeah, yeah, that's, that's true. So I don't like that. But uh, but whatever. And the first one did such a good job of balancing everything: the right. suspense, the action. But that one actually drama. was directed by Spielberg. Too, Spielberg, before, I mean, so. it's totally different. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, that one's okay. Number three: Star Wars: Force Awakens. My my type of movie. Force Awakens, number three. That's the... That's the newest one. La the latest yeah, one that, just, that came like out. It. I yeah. loved it. Yeah. I loved Force Awakens. I saw it yeah. four times in the movie theater. I am a Star Wars guy. You guys are going to see more of that real soon, especially after I just watched the last Jedi trailer like 30 times last week. So I can't wait for that. Force Awakens, great movie. I loved it. And it was a return to form for Star Wars. Star Wars hmm. was great. Then it kind of fell off a little bit with the prequels. And now these guys that are now handling Lucasfilm, Disney, and everybody... They're back on track, and I love Star Wars. And I'll, I'll keep it there because I can go on forever about Force Awakens, but I liked it a lot. So number two, Titanic. Mm -hmm. Titanic, 1997, James Cameron. Well, I will say it's a very long movie. Um, it's Leonardo's good in it, though. Yeah. What was your favorite scene from Titanic? Oh man, I actually what I did like about it, I I, I thought the visuals. You from that you, one, you still gonna hold to the grown man don't cry thing when you watch Titanic? Oh, I didn't cry on that. He cried. He no, lied. I did. I mean, I thought I thought the performances were very strong, right. but I thought they did. I'll never let go, Jack. But then she lets him go. Why don't you share the, the raft with him, Rose? You got room. You uh, sit up there warm and uh, warm enough. He in there freezing the water. You guys can't take turns. Come on now. It, huh? I, I don't even know what to say on that. But. Yeah, you know I'm right. Anyway, Titanic was good. You know what's funny? That movie is so high, and it made two point one. Billion dollars. I think it's a little bit more now. I think this list might be a little bit old when they when I say it. But it's a trip in ninety seven. Ninety seven. And the one you was crazy about it. You know how much money it made on its opening weekend, the first weekend, mm. twenty eight million dollars. Yeah, because it twenty eight million dollars. You know what that means? That means as time went on, people kept going. No, the performances. Is know what I'm saying though? Yeah, so I'm yeah, talking no, as far it, as in it, terms of people mouth, watching it, they kept going and it rose week after week. I, I didn't watch I that movie. Still, I didn't watch that movie until. Like way, a few months out, probably, out of, yeah. and, and, and it was still and playing. It was, it was tough movie to watch. It was three going. hours. It was three hours long. Right, but people kept going back. That's just that stands. That's the, the, obviously a testament to James Cameron. That movie would make right now. Right. Today, well, it, it's it's, it's amazing when you think about it. But we got to move on. And the first one, James Cameron did it again with Avatar in two thousand and nine. <clears throat> um, two point uh, seven billion dollars. Jesus, everybody in their mom. Oh did. man, that that. That one. What do you think about Avatar? I liked Avatar. Um, I, I wasn't really that big on it, but it had good special effects. I thought some of the action scenes you know, were kind of weak. Yeah. Did you like the action scenes on it? I, no, I, I liked them. I, what, what, yeah, what I'm saying. What, 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 here's the thing about something. Avatar. Here's the thing about Avatar. Avatar is, and the reason why it's so high on the list, and I think the reason why it's going to be so hard to top for a long time, is it had movie experience written all over it. It was all about the movie theater experience. You had to go to the yeah. movie theater to and watch it with the 3D. Yeah, 3D. 3D was 3D. not going yeah. on. Like the 3D, they brought well, it back for this movie. It, and then that, that was the, that was the thing. On 3D. And, it, and it, for the worst to me, because I think yeah, like, now, now it's, it's such a crash home. grab when people do these 3D movies. It came movies. out at a perfect time. It, I think it was around the holidays, right? No, it's no, 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 it came out no, at those times when the technology was changing. Everybody was like on this 3D because yeah, but when they went to high definition, it changed. It, it, had, it had so much high definition. Right, high, de high, high definition, definition was becoming was such a big high. deal. Well, people can take high definition go in, yeah. to their house. Right. So at that time, that's why. Yeah, and whenever episode, you went to go look at TVs, I remember I bought the TV. And the, like, we, the test is Avatar. Avatar. You go to the store, they test an Avatar and see to see how it looks. But but Avatar was one of those movies like people were like you got to see it in 3D. You got to see it in 3D. That's why it made. Two point seven billion dollars because everybody had to see them in three D and it worked because it actually is was really cool to see the action scenes 
They're, but nobody remembers the story. They don't. <laughs> that's that's, that's <laughs> why I'm saying. This is why I'm saying the the movie theater experience was what made that money yeah, made the money the because colors. right. Yeah, you know, like, see, you had to see it on a big screen. Yeah, you had to be right there and experience it with the glasses and all that whole thing. And it was amazing. Then you watch it at home, like, well, you know what? This kind of seems like poke, this. This seems like uh, Fern Gully. Or uh, or dances with wolves. Well, no, or but it's like movies. about twenty other movies that were. That's what I'm saying. So, so it was just oh. like so that. So when you when you watch and you really get down to the heart of it, it's not that great. I don't think. But like for what it did in terms of like the the, the technology and looking at it, hey, they got away with mm. it, and they they got and now they got everybody spending an extra five to six dollars oh, on a, a movie off. for these it's, three, it's three movies, movies, man. But the thing about a movie, let's let's talk about the, the movie experience because I still enjoy going to movies and I have other yeah, ways of well, watching movies. Right, right, and that's the so, thing. But I enjoy it. It's, it's like you said on, on being able to escape, being able to turn off, get away from their phone, get away from people talking and all that kind He's of stuff. I find that when I watch it at the house or something, I'm always doing two or three Right, you're not, you don't focus so I don't the same get a way to focus. The theater. So, you know, saying, so I can understand going to the movies. Yeah. I mean, even though I thought about 10 years ago that movie theater would be... And you, you, you know, and, and that's funny, and the reason why is that is experience. That's the only reason why movies have been, you know, uh, internet proof. Because if you look at what, it, what the internet did... ...completely changed, and not for the better, in a lot of ways, the music industry, because now people don't buy albums anymore like that. People don't buy a lot of things. Home videos are starting to really get in trouble too because there's so many stre streaming networks. There's so many ways to just download the movies. There's so many ways to see things. A lot of a lot mm. of home videos are in trouble. Everything, but the movie theater experience is still an experience that people want to well, have. I don't know if, if it's still because it's only particular movies. Because there's a lot of other movies. I think these movies are still making billions. You get fast but, 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 to make a But it's not as many movies making those type of. They, that, that's actually not true movies. because these last few years. The okay. film industry has been right. It's like, and it's, 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 it continues to grow. Really? Yes. I have to see that. The money, the money that these movies that. are making right now. It's like La La Land. I'm sure that that movie well, the made low, a lot more money than it was expected to make before. Yeah, but then there's a lot of other movies. That but no, make. even those movies are still people are still watching them. Yeah. I mean, think about you, you would think about a movie like. But La they're La not Land watching that the movies. They're not going they to are. the movie. They actually do. No, I'm saying once it comes out of the movies, a lot more people are going to watch that movie. Maybe. But what I'm saying is overall, overall, the movie theater experience is still something that people want to have. You want to take a date to the movies. You want to you want to go out to the movies, uh, you know, and eat the popcorn and be around people and laugh at the jokes with the whole crowd. People want that stuff. Yeah. Is it the same experience as it used to be? Nothing is. I'm just think. saying. But I, mean, I, you know, know. I did, but I think that it's still, that still is why movies still are big business. Have you went out to the to the movie um, theater that you can order dinner? Yeah, that's just, yeah. But, they're, they're, but they're getting smart. They, they're, they're knowing, they're we got to start having different ways to get people in these theaters. Oh, now you can recline your seat. Now we're going to bring you dinner. We're going to yeah. do all these other things. So they want to make it the event still. So people still want to go to the event and do that. But anyway, we're going to leave it there. That was That's the end of our, our uh, show today. We are going to be back. Uh, next week we're gonna be talking. I, I wanted to review a movie called Free Fire. I didn't get a chance this week, so I will review that next week. A movie called Free Fire. There's other shows that I've been watching. I'm, I'm gonna give you guys a little uh, insight on one. It's called Gorilla. Good one, with Idris Elba. You guys want to check that out? Um, I just turned on that Peaky Blinders that you've been talking about. So, yeah, uh, just how you like it? It's 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 interesting. I gotta give it. I gotta give it some time. It's a slow burn, so uh, I'm getting into it. But I, I'm watching. And it. I'm finishing up Boardwalk. Empire. Boy, Empire. please talk. Please watch it because I want to talk about that. I watched that whole series, so we can okay. talk about that. So we will be back next week. We'll have more things to talk about. Uh, you guys, please like our stuff. We are going to be streaming live on on YouTube as well, and that should be next week. We're going to start our YouTube channel. We'll give you guys some more information on this. Share us, uh, share us like Come us, on. tell your people about it. Uh, we're going to do this. A lot more, so keep keep talking about every us every week and uh, keep comment, every week. Comment, this, this is a second we're, we're gonna job. get next week. This we're gonna a second have a, job, man. Next week and next week we're gonna have a, a bigger. Uh, I'm a, starting a, to see you too a, much. A man. conversation. I'm seeing you too much. Too. <laughs> and now that I know that you like Transformers the same way, it's not gonna be the same ever again. Dougie T said he needs a haircut. <laughs> uh, Dougie T, he'll he'll hook you up with that. Barry, what's the address to the to the shop? Right now, five two nine six Avenue North, this in Kent. All right, thank you guys for watching. We will be back next week. And until then, bye-bye.